Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, somebody sent me this video about Alex Pettit, Petit, I don't know how they say the last name, from Crazy Pieces, sitting down with his future wife, answering tough questions, and they said, hey, you gotta look at this video, might give you a little bit more insight into what's going on and how you feel about this. And It's, it's, it's an interesting topic because youth are dumb. We all know that. We want our kids to make good choices, but if we don't teach them how to look out for red flags and how to be cautious, shit like what happened with the Tavoilas or whatever the hell their name is from Australia happens. Daughter goes and marries some dude she's never met before and has an experience unlike, like, it sounds like a nightmare. So these people, these family vloggers, don't educate their children. They don't raise them properly because they can't, because they don't have time. They're literally making content. That's what they do. They don't raise their children. And I've made the argument multiple times that Crazy Pieces and Crazy Middles, these families cannot parent this amount of kids properly. And what happens is they make shitty decisions. So let's see if he's making a crappy decision or not. Time will tell. Let's go. So we did dive into the engagement um, video, which was Cringe Fest City. Uh, it was just, it's Crystal living vicariously through Alex and their relationships, but she's doing it because she gets content out of it. This isn't really about the old, I'm, I don't think she's really living vicariously. Well, maybe she is. She sort of is. It's Maybe it's mix. So she's living vicariously through her teenagers and also because she's really immature and teenager like herself. She's not really a parent. Crystal doesn't strike you as a type of person like, that's a good mom. That's like a mom who's really good, who's good at you know educating her children, disciplining them. She's more like a friend than anything. She thinks that she can buy their loyalty or buy their happiness, and it's not true. Okay, so uh, we will never know the shit that goes down in that house and the kids that have left and the horror stories, okay? I'm not saying that they do things bad to their children, but they don't prepare them for life. Like, these, I've said this before, kids who come from adoption, fostering, everything else, on the higher end of not, okay, come with massive amounts of trauma. Anybody who's been taken away from their biological family for whatever reason is likely be, is going to cause some trauma and whatever they lived in and that, that got them apprehended and removed in the first place likely caused trauma. And when you bring 20 of those kids into a house where they all going to need special attention, you can't parent them properly to begin with even if they didn't have the trauma. But add the trauma on top of that and you're not going to be able to do it. Like, you've seen Aaron, they just did another video where he took the truck out and went four-wheeling with his buddies. This dad is hardly ever there. He's off doing his own thing. These parents are not there for their children. We can see it in their videos, right? They're just spending money. That's what they do. Buying expensive vehicles, wrecking shit, buying, like, it's just a big giant... It's weird. It's not a, It's not conducive to good family is what I'm saying. So don't look at these people and say, that's the type of family I want to be in. These kids might have stuff and that's great, but it's not what they need. Okay. What they need is a loving, attentive set of parents who's going to help them navigate the trauma so that when they come out on the other side as adults, they'll make good choices. They won't be able to like, they, they, I'm not saying they all will, but they'll be better off for it. Right? Half these kids aren't even going to school. Why? Why isn't Alex going to school? I'm not saying college is the end all. And I mean, as we, as we move in towards, you know, the other end of the spectrum now, I'm not saying, you know, college is great. It's good and bad, right? I don't necessarily think you need it anymore. You can be trained on site and all that. All that to say is that he's not even considering a career, nothing. He just thinks YouTube is going to be it for him. Alex, I've got news for you. It's not going to be it for you. This stuff that you guys are navigating, this family vlogging stuff, it's going away very fast. And you know that. Just ask your mom about the numbers. Ask any family vlogger out there. Their shit is falling apart because this stuff is not only done because everybody who has watched has grown out of it, right? Um, but it's also people are waking up to the idea that child exploitation is wrong and it's becoming like a shameful thing to do this. And that's awesome in my concern. Anyway. I know it's a little rant, but let's go through this video and see if we can spot any red flags on either side. I'm not saying that she's the red flag, but as far as we know, Alex is the famous person here, right? And this girl comes in, Savannah, meets him on Instagram, says, I don't know anything about him. Really? The guy has like, how many followers does he have on Instagram? Probably, I'm probably blocked, but let's just see. I find it interesting that I'm blocked on Alex. I've never spoken to Alex before. You know, he's got no posts on his Instagram, but he's got 60,000 followers. 
It doesn't, again, right there's a red flag. She's like, I didn't know who he was. You knew who he was. The other red flag is that she has no friends at all. And all of the bridesmaids are his sisters. Really weird. I was going to do that video. It was so cringy. And then they like just added the other sister and later on be like, oops, we forgot to give her one because she probably felt left out. It's cringy. Why does she have no friends? Why do we know nothing about her? We know everything about Alex and we shouldn't. I'm not saying we should, but we know everything about him. She's a mystery. Like she's no friends and like it's so weird to me. Right. And so there's major red flags. She's from a different side of the country, the other coast. Um, somebody said she worked at an airport or worked for an airline and she might. She's not an in-flight attendant. We know that for a fact. Right. So there, there's a bunch of weird lies that they were making up about her. And if she did have a career, how did she move in with him in out near Arizona? How are they making ends meet? He doesn't have a job. Is Crystal paying for everything? I say that. With the caveat that, yeah, Crystal should be paying for everything because Alex is owed probably hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars for his part that he played in this channel, right? He's one of the main draws. So he is owed the money, but I think that he honestly is banking on YouTube. But Alex, you're a great guy and it seems like you're a super cool dude, but you're not going to bring anything to YouTube that doesn't exist that's not really anything. You're only going to be capitalizing off the fan base from crazy middles and crazy pieces, which is dying out. So anyway, I'm just saying there's a lot of red flags already. And we already know that he has been catfished in the past. Now, they're to the point where it's probably likely not catfishing, but we're not seeing everything. We know that she vapes. We know that she's addicted to her phone. And again, if she has no friends and stuff, who are you talking to, right? And just all those types of things, you see that align into this position where you see all that kind of like combine into this like, Alex, this isn't going to work. You don't know this person, right? And it just seems like he's being catfished and used again. But let's watch this. Can we not do this one? No, we have to. It's a good question. This one? Yes. Yeah, we have to ask it. 2014 call. They want their Thrasher sweater back. Oh, I'm snarking. A little bit. Just gently snarking. Yeah. She doesn't know what we're doing yet. Oh. Why? Okay, so today... They made, they made Alex get a haircut. He didn't want to get a haircut. Now I see why. <laughs> she just let him do what he wants with his hair. I thought it'd be a fun idea just to ask some questions, but these are like personal questions. Why are they in a diary? These are questions that, that couples are too afraid to ask each other. I have 10 so- No, there should be no questions you're afraid to ask somebody you're going to spend the rest of your life with, okay? You should know everything about the person you're going to literally swap fluids with for the rest of your life, okay? Big, make babies with, you gotta know everything. And the thing is that everybody knows and sees clearly, clear as day, is that like, you might, Alex obviously knows more about Savannah than all of us will ever know, right? And they keep a lot of from us and whatever, go do what you gotta do. But there's no way he knows what he needs to know before he marries somebody he doesn't know. You hear what I'm saying? So far, if we need more, we'll find more. Got my trusty notebook. So, Am I in who's there? Who's it's Crystal there in the room? I guarantee you, Crystal's sitting in this room saying, "Don't answer that one, or say this, or edit this out, or whatever." That's I, I, yeah. No, 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 no. no, they're just questions, and I just want to hear your opinion, and I'll give my opinion. Okay. Okay. So, first question: Thoughts. On she looks real comfortable doing this, by the way, everybody. On guy, girl, best friends. I don't see a problem with it. I don't see a problem with it because I know his girl best friend is Cadence, and I like Cadence, and I like. Okay, you're my girl talk. best friend. These are teenagers, right? I know they're in their twenties, but t these people are not ready. I'm telling you, they have not had any life experience yet. They're still talking like, what about guy, girl, best friend? I well, I like the one. Okay, you guys, nope, you're not even adults yet. Kids and I are friends. But you are my girl best friend. Me personally, I don't like it. What? Here's the only reason why. I know how guys think. Obviously, they can argue the same. But usually, when it's a best friend, you go to them for comfort. You should go to each other for comfort. That's how it should be. You should <laughs> shouldn't need another guy best friend to be your comfort, to be your... I guess. Okay, this is like the Mormon patriarchy, like bleeding through. Did he? Did they force this guy to go to church? Okay, listen. This is what he's. This is what's happening. He's telling her, "You don't need a guy best friend because that's who you go for comfort." 
That's silly. Like, be an adult, okay? I wouldn't mind if my, my wife had a guy best friend at all. It wouldn't bother me at all. I'm just because I'm not a jealous type. If I have, I, most of my close friends are dudes, yes. But growing up, I had a lot of female friends, like a lot, just because I have, I just, I was, I had a lot of friends, but I had a lot of female friends as well. And he's saying, I know how guys think. So what he's right there off the top of his head is like, okay, I know guys don't want to be friends with girls because all they want to do is sleep with them. That's what he's saying right there. So I don't want her to have a guy best friend because all he's going to want to do is sleep with her. So that's a jealousy thing. That right there proves to me right off the first question, these two are not ready for marriage. Okay. They haven't even talked this out, but they're doing it on camera. They haven't talked that through. Okay. That is a jealousy issue that you're going to need to deal with, Alex, or it's not going to work. Also, we know she doesn't have any friends, so it doesn't really matter. There for you. Do you see what I mean? I, I see what you mean. I guess friends, but, at the same but time. best friends. Can friend she say something? Can she with, say something? You might as well go deep them. Are you shitting me? No, I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, you guys should have thought this through. You can't have a best friend because it's only got to be romantic. That is silly. What if you grew up with somebody? What if your guy best friend is not interested in you sexually? What if they're gay? Right? What if your girl best friend is gay? What if I have lots of really close female friends I have never thought about in my brain that I'm only friends with them because I want to sleep with them? That's never been, that's just maybe something I didn't struggle with, but I don't ever see people that way. I don't see people as objects for my sexual desires. That's just not something that ever occurred to me because friendship is really, really important to me. And I have a really close friend, and I'm not going to say who it is, but, but like I've been friends with this girl for, man, 15, 16 years now since even before I married my wife. And to this day, like I might not have talked to her for a year, but if I go visit her, I can knock on her door and we would talk for hours and we're friends. Like, I, I, and I don't, I don't want to sleep with her. That's so silly. I mean, that you can't just say that. Don't, and don't raise your children to think that way either. I want to raise my son to be like, you can have female friends, right? Don't just assume that they you want to sleep. And my daughter too. I'm like, you have male friends. I don't know. That's really weird that he's saying that. I think it makes sense. It does. She's, she... Uh, makes sense. No, it does I understand make sense. What, what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. But at the same time, like, let's just say me and you guys have an argument, right? And you're like, oh my god, I need to talk to somebody or something. And you have your best friend. Let's go talk to your mom, dude. Yeah. Obviously your best friend's gonna give you advice on the situation. I talk to my guy best friends. About girl problems? Okay, that's... that's honestly, having girls in your life, women who are awesome, is invaluable. Let me tell you that, okay? He's maybe he struggles with the idea that he can't have a girlfriend, a uh, female friend, because he just wants to sleep with them. But that doesn't—that's not everybody. I mean, I don't even think that's the majority of good men in the world. I really don't. I have a lot of great male friends, and like a lot of really good, and they're really good dads, and they're really good men. And we don't just sit around and talk about how like we don't. It's just not. I think maybe surround yourself with good people is probably the answer. Or my mom. Okay. I go to my mom. I wouldn't. If you need it's Kyoto. attention from someone else, then no, that's what I'm saying. Like, say we get into an argument and you. Right off the top, you guys are way too mature to get into a relationship to begin with. Not even, not, not marriage, a relationship. He is all like, this is no, dude, this is bad news. This is like a red flag on for her. Like, Savannah, is it a red flag for you? If you're not allowed to have a male friend, like, patriarchy intensifies that's weird you need that you need attention so you mm -hmm. go to your guy best friend mm -hmm. no you, it's not about attention what the heck why can't you just have friends what does it matter what sex they are usually they're going to do anything to comfort you even a little mm -hmm. you know this guy's been cheated on for sure that's, that's exactly what happened i don't even know but i assume that's what happened. She does not believe the shit that he's saying right now. This is, you guys are having these revelations on camera before talking about this, before getting engaged. Wow, Crystal, you raised them right. What, can I not say that? It is Crystal there. No, you can say that. Oh. It is Crystal, I call that shit. Crystal's sitting there just like definitely curating the answers here. Who's there's like who's behind the camera? There's like 15 people. What's going on? Okay, next question. Okay, yeah. next question. You can ask this one. Why are you here, Crystal? This is his channel. I don't. 
This is creepy levels. Aren't you, don't you have 20 other kids you need to be parenting right now? This kid is literally living on his own with his girlfriend somewhere else and you're at his house. Go parent your other kids. This one's done, right? You already, you, you messed it up. Let him do his thing. Why are you there? It's just like the third. <laughs> okay, well, you could have just wrote it, wrote, written it down on a phone or. <laughs> what? what is this question? <laughs> That, that, I was is this a P question? No, no. <laughs> Who is that there? No question. No. Is it, is it Creepy Uncle Joe or whatever his name is? I'm trying to read his questions. I can't even see. Okay. I'll read is it. it awkward after fights? Is it awkward after fights? Okay. Is it awkward after fights? <laughs> farts. It was farts. Is it awkward after farts? That's what the question is. Oh, I remember my first, when we were, my wife and I first met and she first farted around me. It was a good moment. We trusted each other. <laughs> okay, well, I was making sure it was me. <laughs> um, to me, it's awkward after fights because, like, what do you do? Like, you have to, like, ease your way into making up because you can't, like, it's weird because we'll go to, like, watch TV. But what question is this? Then she's over here pouty, super mad, and I'm over here, like, well, I can't say anything because then she'll be like, eh, 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 but then I, I'm like, <laughs> do me a favor, you two. Hey, get your listening ears on. Don't. Don't get married. Wait years. Date for years. I'm glad they're living together. Honestly, I do. I know I hate, like, that's my old school Christian, like, oh, you shouldn't have done it, but I'm glad they are. I, like, because there's no way they're compatible. I already say they're not compatible. Alex, and what I'm seeing is not even the Savannah side, that Alex is way too mature to be a husband right now. He is, he is not developed into a man yet. And I'm not saying that as a snarky thing. He's just not been raised to be a man. He was raised by Crystal, who is, you know, in all intents and purposes, a teenager who just bought their love, who just spent their way into their hearts and didn't raise them properly to make good choices. Alex is uber immature for his age. OK, there is no reason for you to be getting married right now. Go experience life, please. Go get a career, a job, do something hard before you step into a marriage after never doing anything in your life yet. Plus the trauma that's probably not been dealt with yet because that will come back to bite your ass when you're older. So, Actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But I understand I why it's, she's mad, but then it's, it's me weird. trying. In my marriage, when we have fights, I just forget what we're fighting about. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah. We'd... Kathy does not forget shit. Okay, I forget and forgive, eat, like gone. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't remember anything we fought about. Kathy does not. So it's easy for me. I'll tell you that. No, I understand why she's mad at that point, so then I'm trying to like, Hey, I'm sorry. And then she's like, Food. I'm just super so sorry. Food. Food. And we and get her food. Stuff, stuff. So then we get her food, and then she's happy again. Well, I am concerned. No. You say you get in a fight, and then she's angry, and you just get her food, and you think that's... She's not a dog, dude. This, I thought I was going to be like, Savannah is the, you know, murderer here. But Alex is like red flag galore right now. And just because, honestly, he's just not ready. This guy needs, to, I'm going to keep saying it, like Oscar, get a lawyer. Hashtag Alex, get a life. Meaning go out and experience life first. You have rich parents. Take a few thousand bucks and go experience life. I kid you not, it'll be the best thing you ever did for your, go to school, man. I know school's not for everybody. Go to a trade, do something, go to school, get away from your family, live in dorms, do something else before you do this, before you step out into this, because it's only gonna end bad for you. But until that, it's like awkward in between when I'm sitting there on my phone and she's up here like <laughs> watching TV. It's, or I'm scrolling on TikTok. Yeah, so it is a little awkward sometimes because I'm, I don't know what to do at the time. So exactly, so don't do this. I don't think it's awkward. Yes, it is awkward. I'm awkward. Oh, okay. Have you ever thought about cheating? Yeah, it's a question. Excuse me. It's a... <laughs> Why would you include this question? This is silly. You guys are literally just freshly dipped into adulthood. Really? What kind of question is this? Why would you, when are you going to answer? Yeah, I totally did. What's the answer going to be? It's like, well, there was this girl one time. <laughs> no. I want to know who that is behind the camera. It's a question. All right. You answer so, first, ask. Alex. Okay, have I ever thought about cheating? No. no. I haven't. What are you going to answer? Yeah, totally. I was t absolutely. Stupid question. 
Space plane. No, the answer is no, I haven't. What do you mean? What, how, how else do I explain that? What do you mean? No. That's my explanation. I haven't done I have cheat. not done I have it not. either because I'm not a cheater. And I've been cheated on and I know how that feels and that is not a good feeling. So. Valid. It's yeah. just... God save my hot dog! Damn it. No wonder he's not in here. He ate my hot dog. I had a half of a Cheddar Smokey from 7-Eleven in there. He ate the whole thing. It's I'm just happy. Wrong. I'm genuinely happy. It's just wrong. Hey, you guys look happy. No like, why? Look at that ring. If you're not ready for commitment, then just don't do it. Just, just don't do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you, if you want to be with all these different types and you can say, oh, your feelings change. As hard as it is, break up with that person so you don't hurt them worse. I'd rather be broken up with and then cheated on. Wait, can we come here for a second? What? <laughs> this is him. I talk with my hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. This is physically assaulting me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's these people, do these two look like they're adults ready for marriage? God, I'm asking your honest opinion. You look at this, these questions, these answers, I don't even, they can't even, I, they've never talked at, at length about anything important, these two. Like, there's no way. They don't even know each other. This is crazy to me that Chris is like, yeah, let's get some dresses and chat. It's not getting cut. Staying in. It helps me focus. Why do you have weird sunglasses on your hoodie? Uh, uh, uh. Why do you have a hoodie? You're in Arizona. I want to ask. Probably 188 degrees outside. <laughs> Does it ever get boring dating the same person every day? No. Like, do, you, do you ever I get bored it. of dating no, me I do not. every I single day? It. We're not dating. We're married, Alex. You're not married there. What's your face, Savannah? You're not. You're engaged, but they basically, for all intents and purposes, are married. <laughs> okay. But are they married? Did they elope or some shit? And they're not telling us? What'd you do, Alex? What'd you do? It doesn't get boring. No. What is going on? Married. Married. Crystal's like, I, I don't know, I don't! Stop getting cut, 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 edit that shit, edit that shit out of here! Stop saying that! You're papers. engaged! <laughs> um, what was the question? Do you ever get bored of me? No. Or I can't get bored of you, boring? because every day is something new. Like, is I it? Every, every day I learn something new about him, so... That's because you hardly know each other. <laughs> Are you guys not seeing this? Every day I learn something new because I don't even know you. But let's get married, shall we? Dee -dee -dee -dee. It's fun for me. Cause like, I'm we get sorry. to try different things. Like what? What do you mean? What, like, explain. Um, for me it's- Alex, like, shut up, my mom's here. Don't say shit. It's not boring because this is what I've wanted. I've wanted to only be with one person and that person forever. And that's so, me. Yeah, yeah, that's it me. is you. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's not boring because she's she's weird, but I love it. And so it brings. Mm, I'm weird. We're both weird, weird. but it's great because then it brings spice to the relationship. Does it? So does it? Does it? It's never boring. And honestly, she like. She brings so much to it. Like, if I don't want to do something, she's like, but hear me out. This will be super fun. He's like, and no, then we're we not doing do it. it. And then hear me out. Let's spend a whole shit ton of your money on things that I want. Five minutes later, we're doing it. And then we do it, and it's actually super dope. So. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. Disneyland? So, another... Krispy Kreme, what are you doing? Playing checkers? Atari? Fishing? Arcade, maybe? Cheesecake Factory? Knitting or crocheting? Picking gnats out of each other's hair? Popping each other's zits? Watching TV. Pooping with the door open. Catching them picking their nose. What is new? What's new? You don't know anything about each other. Question that I saw asked is, when we have arguments in public, do we talk about it then or do we talk about it after? What? We really Where do you get these questions? Who's asking these questions? Sounds like they're questions from children. Have arguments. <laughs> we don't really have arguments in public. Yeah. Like, if Maybe we- Maybe you could've just put a brush. Through there. We, if we have a problem, we, we if we do have a problem, like we just talk about it after. I feel like it's more appropriate to do it after. Yeah. Thanks. So Again, who asks these questions? Away from everyone else. But we usually don't. These are the questions you got. 
Yeah. How about, do you actually know her at all? Have any of you murdered somebody? Does she fart in her sleep? Does he fart in his sleep? Why doesn't Savannah have any friends? There's a good question. Alex, have you ever given thought that this could be another catfishing thing? Where does Savannah work? Savannah, why do you vape? It's bad for you. Popcorn lung is dangerous. Were you scared to meet my family? Were you scared to meet my family? Oh, no, I was supposed to ask this one. Were you scared oh. to meet my family? Yes. Why? How scared? He's watched the videos. So scared. So I get... How do I say this without sounding weird? Okay. <laughs> Ship sailed, lady. Yes, I was scared to meet his family because... You know, like, when you're talking to somebody and you're like, oh, yeah, I have, like, and you have, like, a lot of siblings, you're like, oh, yeah, I have, like, 20 siblings. They're like, yeah, me too. Like, he legitimately said me too. had, like, 20 siblings. Does she have 20 siblings? I was like, a lot of times. Like, I was like, like what? Oh, I have 20 siblings. They're like, something tells me she has an older brother. That's it. Dredging it. Yeah, that would be exaggerating. And even, like, meeting him, I was super nervous because it was, like... I've never done anything like this where I've flown half by across the country, especially to like meet like a guy. Yeah, nobody does that. You know why? Because murderers exist and shit and weird stuff. Don't do this. If my daughter's like, I'm going to fly halfway across the country to meet a guy I met on the internet, I'm going to be like, yes, <laughs> hell you are. <laughs> I'm coming with you then. No, you're not. I love you. So no, you're grounded forever. Or anything. So I was like super nervous and... I was like, mm. That's because you guys don't know each other. Are you sure you wanted to do this video? Are you guys? No, I asked them. Are you sure you want to do this video? And they're like, yeah, we, we, we are sure. Well, it's just, I guess. I don't know. Content is content. You know that. <laughs> I know. Whatever. Just get like, <laughs> I don't know. Go to Chuck E. Cheese or something. I don't know. Save your money, though. Shit, half that shit's going at him, so. Don't <laughs> Well, there's nothing I can do about it. You do it. No. All right. No, that's fine. I eat hand cream. You know that, right? And I shouldn't have. I can't take that back now. I ingested that shit. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, bye. But then, like, once he picked me up from the airport and everything, it was, like, it just felt normal. There was no awkward stage. There was, like, he picked me up. We went out to eat. Then we went to Home Goods. And that was actually our first That store. was literally our first store. We went to Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's... Okay. Um, but, yeah, I was so nervous to meet his I remember I was in the Airbnb, and I was, like, I can't do this. <laughs> I was, like, I can't do this. Because it's, like, it's not an ideal situation for, like... For a murderer? Allegedly. Well, it's not, not ideal, but it's like not the normal circumstance where like somebody's like flying halfway across yeah. the world to come see somebody they've never met. Yeah. Thanks for acknowledging it, though. Yeah. And I didn't. To the fans of crazy pieces and middles, what you should say, don't do what we did, everybody. This is not right. It's not smart. It's stupid. I didn't know how they were going to feel about it. So I was like. <laughs> it's content. Thanks. What about you? Um, my family. No, I was excited. That was awkward. That was weird. Something, 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 something. To meet her family. I really was. Her mom's super cool. I love her mom. Her brothers are awesome. Brothers. Um, yeah. And what so, about the dad? Is the dad super cool? I, I just see why she's so bright and so awesome of a person because she has uh, an amazing family. And also, he did talk to my mom. <laughs> like, even before, like, I came out here for the first time, like, if I was on FaceTime, my mom yeah. was there, like, he would talk to me. I would say, like, uh, yeah. So, so like, I kind of already met her, but not in person. Yeah. Like, anytime we were on call and her mom was there, I'd be like, I'd be like, hi, Savannah's mom, or whatever. And so, I had te Is Savannah murderer by any chance just checking? I know it's a joke. Jokes. But seriously. Criminal records, friends, anything? Anything I should know? Before I marry this person I've never met. Anything? Nothing? Okay. What's her favorite oatmeal? I technically met her, but not in person. We so got that. Thanks. Meeting her in person, it just was more exciting because I was like, this Was is it? Sick. It was actually sick. pretty cool because when we went to Florida, like, our, we had a connected flight, so we couldn't do, like, Phoenix to Fort Lauderdale. 
Jacksonville. Fort Lauderdale? No, Jacksonville. Who cares? Fort Lauderdale. No, Jacksonville. Nobody cares about this part. We didn't fly, like, I don't think there was a connecting flight, so we had a stop, and there was two stops. It was either in Georgia or it was in New York. So we ended up going to New York because my brother was also flying from, but he was flying from New York to Florida, so he met my we brother and his girlfriend at in the, the airport. airport. <laughs> we were right there. Awesome and then story. We ended up on the same flight. And they were like two seats behind us. Yeah. It, was, it was cool. It was, was like, it? Nice. And I had already met her other brother uh, when he came to pick her up one time. So I met her whole family pretty much. And he met my aunt. Not a lot yeah. of people meet my aunt. Dad's not in the picture? I thought there was anything wrong with him. I'm just saying. I met her aunt too. Arizona, so. And he met my aunt. So I'm pretty much These people are likely going to be family vlogging on the internet, having babies and everything on the internet. These two. They are strangers to each other. No, so that's awesome. Okay, that's a dumb question oh, too. What it, what is or what was something that was like super awkward that you had to get used to? Like uh, when we first started dating. For me, it was saying like babe, like calling you babe or like being in a relationship cuz like even if like, like you get like say, what just happened? Is there a werewolf? You end up dating your best friend from high school. It's still weird, like calling your best friend like, hey, yeah, hey, or like, yeah, yeah. So I feel like that was kind of awkward at first. I agree. And I guess like, I agree. I just, I guess like mannerisms, like not like anything bad, but uh, what? Um, I, I'm not messy when I eat, but I'm kind of messy when I eat. And so, like, I felt awkward. Habits, not mannerisms. Sometimes, because I felt like I ate like a pig, and she's over here all nice. <laughs> she has her napkin ready. She cuts her food up. And I you mean manners? Are you saying that she has manners and you don't know what manners are? I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not hard, I'm hardly surprised that Crystal doesn't teach her kids manners. Teach them how to eat properly or eat in company. Because this house is chaos. It's literally a summer camp. That's what this is. I'm over here just chowing down. So it was a little awkward at some times, but. Did you know, I'll give you some manner tips. Because I was raised by, uh, when my mom was married, we had a crazy step-grandmother who was like crazy. But she taught us manners. Here's what I learned. Okay, when you're sitting down to eat. You eat from the outside in if you have multiple forks and knives and shit like that. Okay, outside in, right? If you're done eating and you put your fork and knife at 7 and like 4 p.m., that means you'd like some more. If you put your fork and knife at like 5 p.m. together in one, that means you're finished. Did you know that? Don't you know if you knew? And you always ask to be excused before you leave the table. And if they say no, you have to sit there in awkward silence. Just saying. Manners are like a thing, and you should know manners. I mean, Canadians are a little bit different on this, but manners are a thing. Chew with your mouth closed. You know what I mean? Polite conversation. Have some fun. Be funny. But, you know, manners are important. I really do think that. It's okay. She doesn't care. Yeah. So. Okay. I think so. the awkward thing for me was, like, the whole babe thing. I've never... Mm, I feel like it's too soft for me. Soft. Are you from prison, then? We at Rikers? Tell the truth, Savannah. I just need to know. Are you a hardened criminal? What did you do? Like I said- Were you in a heist of some kind? Like you steal some money? Did you, like, what, tell me? Like, do you 3D print weapons or something? So do I not call you that? Huh? What do I call you? You do call me that. Yeah, but do you not want me to? No, I don't care. Maybe you shouldn't have this argument on camera? <laughs> it was just at first because like- Throw it in the comments what you call your significant other. I call my wife mom, okay? Not in like a my mom way, but like, mom, let's do something, let's go, we gotta go, mom. I call her mom, or I call her babe. I do call my wife babe a lot. Whiffy, I call her Whiffy all the time. Um, what else do I call her? Is that it? That's it. Unless I need something, I'm like, Kay! I will yell Kay! really loud. So. Those are the nicknames for my wife. I'm from New York. Like, we don't say things. They're hard like up there. I guess I wasn't used to it. And also, like, being out of She doesn't sound like she's from New York, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's from, like, rural New York, maybe? Relationship for. I was out of a relationship for two years before me and Alex. So. Alex and I. It was like. Something you have to get used to. Yeah, I was trying to get used to it. And then, like. But even in. And I don't want to bring that up, but that babe was never, like, a. 
like a term that I've ever used. These people look ready to get married to you. Are you serious right now? I don't like being called babe. You're telling me this now on camera, babe? Unreal. Used before. So I just kind of had to get used to that. So how about you just tell him you don't like it and then he has to get used to not calling you babe. Call you something else. Thrasher or whatever. I think that was it. There yeah. was nothing else. Everything else just came. That, that, that happened. Okay, you guys are real good communicators. If you guys have any questions, please let us know. And we'll do like a part These two. questions were ball sack questions. Straight from the pits of ball sack sweat. Or whatever. But yeah, that was just me and her answering questions that... Was it? You know, Thanks. sometimes you Got don't it. always want to ask. Those are the questions?! But. Again, ask the real questions. Savannah, who the hell are you? Tell us your story. When she drops her story, life story, everybody's going to watch that shit. How did you feel? Why doesn't she tell her story? Okay. Why do you have no friends, Savannah? There's a question. I bet you eventually Savannah's friends or whoever that she's are going to come forward and be like, maybe she's just a normal person then. She just likes meeting people on the internet. Maybe she, she's bashful. Maybe she's just a straight up vanilla weirdo. Like me. Just a normal person. That's absolutely in the realm of possibility. This video has actually made me think less of Alex than it is Savannah. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. Alex was not raised right. Right? He's just not. He was not raised proper, not right, properly. He was not given the tools to be an adult is what I'm saying. Why are you laughing, bro? Well, that... I honestly was expecting to get like a little bit more detail into Savannah's life. We found nothing out about her except more about Alex's inability to be an adult which is i blame crystal and aaron that's what i blame that's alex this isn't your fault dude <laughs> but sort of now you got to start figuring out what you're gonna do with your life do me a favor do everybody a favor do your future wife a favor do everybody a favor go get some life experience in something else other than youtubing whatever not and not working at like wherever you worked at i don't know if it was like chick-fil-a or whatever this guy worked at or something like that go do something literally go do something before you marry please do me a favor okay cool Agreed? Awesome. Crystal, you're weird for being there for this. Anyway, everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> know the person you're going to marry. Dad advice for you. All right? You guys are beautiful, gorgeous, kind, brilliant, and valuable. Don't you forget it. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.